Hey kindergarten, today you are going to draw your Frida Kahlo inspired self portrait and you're going to need a pencil and a big black crayon and you're going to need your final copy art paper. Your final copy art paper is that thicker construction paper that was in your essential area kit. If you don't have your final copy paper, will do. Um, you're going to start off with your pencil. And you're gonna do everything that we did last time, but today it's your final copy, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna put it in about the middle of my page, and that's going to help me make my head big enough. And then I'm gonna draw an oval around my hand. Remember, I'm not tracing my hand. I don't want a hand-shaped head. I'm gonna take my hand away, and then I'm gonna finish off my oval. I'm gonna draw that a little bit darker for you so you can see it. All right, and then I'm gonna draw my eyes, and remember your eyes are gonna go at about the middle of that oval, and they are football shaped, so I'm gonna draw my football shaped eye, and then I'm gonna make a gap, and I'm gonna draw another football shaped eye in my eyelid, in my iris, that's the colorful part of our eyes, and our pupil. Notice I am not coloring anything in. That's because we're going to color these in next time. Then I'm going to add my eyelashes if you want them. And my eyebrows. I'm just going to outline my eyebrows today. And remember, you want to leave a space. So I'm going to use my pencil to make sure that I created a big enough space for my eyebrow. And they arch and they go over your whole eye. All right. Then my nose, you remember you want your nose to be about halfway between your eyes and the bottom of your head. So I'm gonna make my nose. We talked about different ways that you could draw your nose last time. So you can draw your nose however you want. And then your mouth is about halfway between your nose and your chin. So you can draw your mouth any way that you want. I'm gonna draw my mouth with lips and with teeth. All right, then I'm gonna draw my neck. Remember your neck comes in from your head. I'm gonna draw my collar and my shoulders. And then I'm gonna draw my ears. My ears are between my eyes and my nose. And my hair, don't forget your hair needs to come down onto your head and it needs to come up off of your head. And again, I'm not gonna color this in. I'm just going to draw it in. And you can draw a few lines in your hair if you want to, but you don't have to draw any lines if you don't want to. That is up to you. Now, because this is my final copy, I'm going to erase away the parts of my drawing that I don't want. So I'm gonna erase away this part of my skull. And if you are like me and your pencil does not have an eraser, you can always use the eraser that is in your essential area kit. Let me go get one. Everyone had a big white eraser in their essential area kit. So I'm gonna erase away all the parts that I don't want. camera is jiggling while I erase. Now, if you have long hair, maybe your ears don't show, but maybe they do. I'm going to erase away one of my ears so that it looks like it's covered by hair, but I'm not gonna erase away both. And I'm gonna erase away these guiding lines that I drew too. And I'm erasing them first because I don't wanna be confused when I'm tracing over everything. Now that I've got everything drawn, I'm going to trace my whole drawing with my big black crayon. And I'm just gonna go over all of the lines that I didn't erase. And I'm gonna make everything look really nice. And of course, I can color in my pupil now, because that's the black part of your eye. This is a black crayon. And 
And if I want to, after I'm done tracing everything, I can go back and erase any pencil marks later. But since I erased first, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, whoops, I just covered over some of my hair. That's okay, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make my hair go behind the shoulder instead. How does that sound? All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with my eraser and I'm gonna erase away the parts that I definitely didn't want. All right, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for today. Next time I'm gonna color this in, but today I'm just making sure that it looks really nice. I'm even gonna write my name at the bottom because that's what really serious artists do with their artwork is they write their name at the bottom. And I'm gonna set this aside someplace very, very safe for next time where I'm gonna color it. So obviously um, you want this to be really nice because you have all class to do it. So take your time, make it beautiful, make it exactly the way you want it.